shape is called a twisted brass monkey. So for this one prerequisite is definitely be comfortable with a regular brass monkey, okay? Because we're going to start messing around with what our arms and our contact points are. So you want to be really solid with your regular traditional brass monkey, however you want to get into it. Shoulder mounting up into it, pressing up into it, dropping down into it, whatever your preferred entrance is, okay? So before we get into this upside down, because we all know how this goes, we get upside down, we get upside down brain, we forget where our arms go, our legs go, we forget we even have legs. So it's going to end up being opposite arm to leg, okay? So whichever knee is the one that's gonna be hooked on the pole, the opposite hand is gonna be reaching around and grabbing that, that foot, and then the leg that is coming to the front, opposite arm is going to go to that. Okay, so if you have to take a moment and be like, okay, if I'm hooking my left knee, my right arm is going to, eh. okay? So there's starters. You got it all sorted out? Cool. All right, so getting into our brass monkey. Like I said, however you want to get into it. Dropping down, kicking up, whatever. So, from, twizzle around for you, from the brass, okay? Make sure this inside knee is nice and solid because that's going to be your lifeline, right? So I find with this one, you're going to want to grab that foot first because at least for me, I have a harder time grabbing that one. So to get to that, you're going to push your chest up, okay? Closing that gap, reach back with that hand. Oopsie, there you go, a little fumble. Grab that foot, then sink your way down, pull into this armpit, bend the other knee and make your shape cross body. Some people also do the twisted brass with this leg straight. Personally, I like the bend, but personal preference, whichever you prefer. When you're ready to come out, go back to your regular brass monkey exiting however you would like. So that is your twisted brass monkey. So like I said, when I first tried it, I tried you know the first leg first, and then I went to grab that one behind my back. I have really long arms and I still had like this little fumble moment of where is my foot. So I find pushing up first, which as I said at the beginning means you definitely wanna be really comfortable with that knee hook, pushing up, then reach back and grab that foot. Once you have a firm hold on that foot, you'll actually find it's gonna pull you more into that knee pit. So it actually solidifies the move. Then drop your chest down, inside arm into the armpit and then crossing to that knee. The second leg touch is the easy part. It's getting that first one there. If you find yourself still struggling to get that leg, you've pushed up, you can't find it, maybe you need to push up more. Also, something to keep in mind, our bodies are all different. You've probably heard me say this a million times. And there are a buttload of pull tricks and not every pull trick works for every body. And that's okay. Okay, so if you're getting into this and you're like, I cannot grab that foot for the life of me, A, find another trick, there's a bazillion of them, or make it work for you, okay? Maybe you just reach back and you've got this little geometric shape and you make both hands just not quite touch. Awesome, make it you, okay? So it could be a body proportions thing, it could be a comfort with it. I always think of it this way, if there's a trick where you're like, this is not working, maybe this doesn't work for my body, ask yourself, do I really want this trick? If yes, start playing around with it and be like, okay, what can I modify to make if my arms are shorter, my legs are longer, whatever it is. Or maybe you look at the trick and you're like, eh, it was a cool idea at the time, but there's something shiny over there and I'd rather that trick. Go with that too, okay? So what I'm saying is if you have a hard time grabbing that foot in the very beginning, don't give up on it unless you decide you don't like this trick and that's okay too. Anyways, off on a tangent. So <laughs> this is the twisted brass monkey play around with this one. It's great on spin and static, okay? But do keep in mind, you definitely wanna be comfortable with it on static before taking it to spin because the centripetal force can make it feel a little bit more sketchy if you're not 100% comfortable with spin, okay? You can get into it from any entrance, from a shoulder mount, from a drop down, whatever your preferred entrance is to your brass monkey. Great move to add into an upcoming photo shoot.